Let's see which one this is. So this is uh, spring 06 number two. Which one has the lowest freezing point? Uh, what I would do, I'll write it over here. Delta T equals I K M. That's what we're dealing with. Okay, so let's make a little table with I and M, and maybe we'll get to K. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, M is 0 0.30, 0 0.15, 0 0.25, 0 0.20. We'll skip the water for a moment. Okay, so I rewrote the molality for all of them. Now let's get I. I for, oh, let's do for sodium hydroxide first. What would I be for that one? Two. 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 Okay, now let's do copper two nitrate. Three. Should get three because there's two nitrates and one copper. Okay, now let's do sucrose. One. That's one, it's organic. Okay, now let's do acetic acid. One. It's, it's one-ish. It's not a good electrolyte. It dissociate. It almost doesn't dissociate, so it would just barely be more than one, probably, yeah. but not 5%. much more. So five percent, yeah. So yeah. it would just barely be. Now the five percent doesn't tell you what I would be per se. You just know it's a little more than one. Okay. What is uh, K? We're gonna find K for what substance? Solvent. Solvent. The solvent is water. There we go. So, when you're finding K, I, you want to remember, I has to do with the solute, which is these. M has to do with the solute, but K does not. K is the one thing, uh, so maybe I should write that over here. I and, K, uh, and M have to do with the solute. Now let me get a different color. Uh, purple, these, this and this, have to do with the solvent. So the temperature changes for the solvent, and K is for the solvent. Well, the solvent for all of these, because it says it's aqueous, is just water. So K, we don't necessarily know what it is, because it doesn't give us the problem, but it's the same. So because they want us to know what's the, uh, let's see, is it the lowest or highest? the lowest freezing point. So basically, freezing point, how much does it drop below zero? So what's the biggest delta T that drops us below zero? So we're looking for the biggest number. Is that okay? So which one will give us the biggest number? It doesn't matter what K is, it just adds in a constant. So let's just multiply these two and see what we get. Here if I multiply these two, 0 0.30, this is 0 0.45, this is 0 0.25, this is 0 0.40. Uh, so it looks like it's the second one. We'll give us the biggest delta T ultimately, whatever K is. Okay, because the multiplication of I and M is the largest number. So the biggest delta T, which will be the biggest drop below the freezing point. Now, why did I ignore water? Because water, water is not a solution. Yeah. Well, it's not a solution, and also the delta T will be zero for any pure substance. There's no drop in freezing point. You need to add a solute in order for the freezing point of the solvent to drop. So this, if anything, delta T here for sure is zero, and for these, it's bigger than zero. Is that kind of okay? Yeah. Okay. This is a really common question, besides, by the way, on a final or an exam. I forgot if we had this on our exam, but... The, these kind of questions are pretty typical. I just didn't know you would have to like use the equation. I thought there was like some way to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to go straight to the Cajun. And we kind of trick you by, you know, not giving you K because it's the same for all of them and that's why it's irrelevant.